Glenn, what do you think about Clemson? Uh, I think Clemson's, from an upfront standpoint on the defensive side of the ball, I think they're going to be a really extremely talented team. Moffa, you turn a running back, probably a top 10 back in the league. How much do you trust Cade Klubnick? Mm -hmm. In big moments, right? We can point to the offensive coordinator down in the red zone making mistakes when it comes to play calling. But Clay, Cade's been known to make mistakes in the moment you don't need to do that. And you're going to get a test really early this season with the Georgia Bulldogs who are not known to make mistakes from no. skill position-wise. you got a couple guys that tied in. You are not. You don't have a receiver I'm afraid of. Secondary's young, not great. So to me, I don't think this will be a playoff Clemson team. I don't think so either. Here's what I'm going to tell you. Do I think Cade Klubnick has a chance to be a good quarterback? Mm -hmm. You're damn right I do. Do I think Garrett Riley's a good offensive coordinator? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think he is. Offensive line should be fine. Like what they got at running back. Blaine brought up Mafa. You did lose Shipley. Antonio Williams got a bunch of potential. They got three or four guys plus a tight end that, that have a bunch of potential. We've seen flashes. But until I turn on the television and I see Clemson, and you're going to find out week one. You're going to find out real quick. Ha Clemson having guys on the outside are having guys all across the skill position that can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the biggest and the baddest that can turn a 10-yard catch into an 80-yard touchdown, that can turn a 50-50 ball into a 70-30 ball offense to defense, I don't think they can do anything. Not special. Now, they won their last five games of the year last year. That's great. But, but Clemson fans and this fan base, and this is kudos to Dabo Sweeney, they've tasted the filet mignon, right? They've drank the Dom Perignon. You don't go back to eating bologna sandwiches and drinking grape juice after you've had that. So we know the standard at Clemson. Where they have fallen off is at the skill position, and I would say including at least, a, uh, including quarterback a little bit, but a quarterback, you're a, you a product of your environment, you're a product of your surroundings. And I look at the schedule, David, you got Georgia week one. That's going to be tough. If you're going to have those cats, they better show up early. You got App State week two. Don't even get me started on App State. Yeah, no, just here, close your eyes. Why would you schedule App State ever? Ever. I, I wouldn't. Ever. I wouldn't. Especially early in the season. Like they say about Australia, never go too far into the woods or the water. Then NC State, September 21st, coming off a of bye week. We're going to get into them in a second, and that ain't going to be a walk in the park either. Then you got, you know, the librarians from Stanford get to come over and tell you, you know, the hip bone's connected to the neck bone or whatever. Then you go to Florida State. We, we know what Florida State is. At Wake Forest, we'll see. They lost a lot. Virginia at home, Louisville at home, at Virginia Tech, at Pitt the Citadel at home, and then South Carolina. Fellas, I'm looking at it, and unless there's some drastic change on the outside and they're able to figure it out and be more explosive, you're looking at probably one, two, three, possibly four losses to me. Look, man, four of those first five games aren't any fun. Those are dog fights. You open and close the year with SEC teams. But I'm trying to search for positives for Clemson. Hey, First year, Georgia won their national championship. You played them in the opener in that same game. And this is the Aflac kickoff game, by the way, y'all. Yeah, so Aflac Georgia should be really game. excited about it. 10-3, uh, I think the score was on that game. JT Daniels versus uh, DJU. JT Daniels did start that yeah. game. That's right, exactly before right. Stetson Bennett took the over. Remember, we were at the College Football Hall of Fame that day doing our show. Exactly. Uh, I think Cade Klubnick is poised for a better season. I mean, look, he, at his first year starting as a sophomore, he threw for, what, 2,800 yards, 19 touchdowns, nine interceptions. That's I think good. there's plenty of ceiling left. I was saying this about Drew Aller with Penn State, and, and these two programs will go, I think, as the quarterbacks take them because they have so many great pieces on both sides of the ball elsewhere. The schedule's not any fun, but look, man, uh, we've been saying a, a, about Florida State, right? Like DJ Uyungle, who used to be quarterback here, is now at Florida State. Yep. Yeah, you have to play him on the road. I just feel like Clemson can find a way to sneak in a 12-team playoff. So you think it's better 9-4? and four? They're better what? You said you think they're going to be better than 9-4 and four last year. Mm -hmm. you, you think they're going to be better than that this year? I think they can get back to the 10-win mark, yeah. I mean, no, would I be no, no Miami on this schedule? Which, which, look, I think you have a chance to play Miami in the like, conference championship. Yeah, it's just that what I worry about Obviously, you worry about Georgia, Florida State on the road, uh, NC State at home, Louisville, Virginia Tech. Like those are the games you have to win if you want to. Or like, even NC State. Or, yeah, yeah. NC State, obviously. But Virginia Tech's getting what? They're getting better. Louisville's what? Getting better. Better. Pitt, on the other hand, they're getting worse. That South Carolina game, rivalry game. You never know. I just don't think like you got to remember this team last year. Who was their do it all guy? It was Shipley. Will Shipley was their do-it-all guy from running the ball to doing taxes to catching the ball out of the backfield to their top three receiver. They don't have that. Moffa's not that guy. Moffa is a downhill running back. 
I'm look, and and I've got to go back and look at all what App State has, <laughs> but I think you're very fortunate if you're Clemson that you get that bye week after the App State game to play it before you play NC State because that's going to be a war on August 31st against Georgia. Now. Yeah, that's going to be an absolute and knockdown K, drag think, but again, out. Take those games out of it. Take Georgia, South Carolina, App State. Take any of the non-conference out of it because this is a different era. Right, where you can lose those non-conference games, still find a way to win the ACC, and not only do you make the playoff, you're you're an automatic qualifier. Right, you get a first round right. buy. Again, Louisville's going to be tough. You get them at home. NC State's going to be tough. You get them at home. Florida State, you have to play on the road. But we've already talked about. I mean, they've got your former quarterback who left there, DJ Uangalale. No Miami on that schedule, and so you either have to play one of those teams a second time in the conference championship, or possibly meet up with a Miami or yeah. you know some other team like that. If you win the conference, I you're mean, in. I, no one, w- I wouldn't be surprised to see Clemson in the, in the conference championship. I just don't think they're going to be good enough to be a playoff team. I just think the ACC is going to be down. I think. I wouldn't be so well by you, saying that by saying that if you think they're good enough to get into the conference championship game but not make the playoff what you're saying is the ACC is going to get one team only one yeah. team I that's what you're saying surprised. that's what yes. you think really and I wouldn't be surprised if that team's Miami I mean I wouldn't I wouldn't be surprised if Miami won the conference but uh, again and, and I do want to give the ACC credit man y'all y'all's out of conference schedule y'all ain't ducking the smoke I love it Miami's going y'all I love it too up. but that's a double edged sword brother what's up YouTube appreciate you guys stopping by Hey, listen, if uh, you don't mind, that subscribe button. If you haven't, if you have, get somebody else to subscribe. And if you've already done that, then get everyone to subscribe.